In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry for IF5. This is iodine pentafluoride. The first thing we'll do is we'll look at our Lewis structure, and you'll see that all of the fluorines, they have octets, but this central iodide atom, it has more than eight valence electrons. That's okay, iodine can have an expanded octet. So this is the correct Lewis structure for IF5. We can kind of imagine all of these things pushing away, the lone pair, all of these fluorine atoms all pushing away from each other, and that will result in the molecular geometry for IF5. Let's take a look at that. Let's visualize it. So the purple, that's our central iodine atom. We had IF5. So we had one, two, and you can see they're spreading out three, four, five. So this is five fluorine atoms here, but we do have to remember we have that lone pair on top. So let's add that lone pair in, and that ends up giving what we call a square pyramidal molecular geometry. You can see the square here, kind of a pyramid. So the molecular geometry, that's going to be square pyramidal. If we look at the electron geometry, then we take into account these lone pairs here. That gives us an octahedral molecular geometry. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So if you couldn't just visualize the square pyramidal, a little bit challenging, you could use a table to figure out what we have as our molecular geometry for IF5. So we would count up the number of things attached. We have one, two, three, four, five, six things, five atoms and a lone pair. So let's look at this table here. So we said we had six things attached, five atoms and a lone pair. So steric number is six. And then we said we had one lone pair here. So we're going to go down and over and there's that square pyramidal. So again, the molecular geometry for IF5 is square pyramidal. If you were asked to use the AXN notation, you could do that as well. This is also called the AXE notation, where A, that's the central atom, that's our iodine. X, those are the atoms attached to that central atom, those five fluorine atoms. And E, that's the number of lone pairs. We only have one lone pair. So you would either have memorized that this is a square pyramidal molecular geometry, or you could look it up on a table if you were allowed. We would expect these bond angles here or here to be 90 degrees, but the fluorine down here has a little bit of a different orientation, so that's going to be a little bit less. If we look that up on Wikipedia here, this would be 81.9 degrees for the bond angle here, for this, this bond angle right here. So that's it. That's the molecular geometry, the electron geometry, and the bond angles for IF5, iodine pentafluoride. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.